Hey, we're in Macau on a Sunday. Um, this is a little um, uh, Rotunda de Carlos de Maya. And we're right next to the um, marketplace. So we're just gonna kind of film around it. And we're gonna walk right down into this little area. And I'm gonna tell you a lot of stuff that's going on as well. It's August 2022, COVID era, and Macau is kind of a hot spot of that kind of stuff right now. With policy, with, uh, anyways. But we'll try to focus a little bit on that, but we'll just check this out on a Sunday so you can see Macau as well. Okay, Macau, two, zero, two, two. Filming the city street by street. Let's check it all out. Chiquinha. Chiquinha. So we're gonna be walking down that market in a second. But on Sunday it's kind of a special day here because there's, this is more like Indonesians I think and Burmese. So they got all kinds of cool stuff set up everywhere. So what we're gonna do is just walk through the market area. Yeah, actually the Indonesian community in particular and the Filipino community, but they're uh, a lot of them have not been able to work. They're on like some called NPL, no pay leave, unless they're messy copper. But they work in a like a restaurant and different stuff like that. Um, they've been getting paid. There's been lockdowns here um, for, I think they were under lockdown for about six weeks where um, where all the, all the restaurants and stuff like that were closed. Um, I think other stuff was closed for 10 days, like all, everything that was not essential. I think this one has um, like all these fruits and things like that, so this one might have been okay. I didn't come up here. It's actually kind of hard to travel. The buses, you had to have a certain... Um, you had to be a, an essential work to ride, ride, a, ride a bus. So um, I wasn't able to take buses. He could drive, but then there was somebody who drove to the beach, Haksai Beach, and he was arrested and serving four weeks uh, four months in um, jail for driving where he's not supposed to which was um to the beach because you're not supposed to go anywhere during that time period anyways we got a couple new cases again so they just cleared up they just kind of opened up and then they op they're trying to open up their border and they succeeded open up the border with china and they got a couple cases right away so everybody has to test again and um anyways the policy is crazy it's gonna be I don't know, food is documenting the city, so... Got some music here. That music sounds pretty cool. This is all this kind of market area. We keep walking down our Market Street here. Anyways, I'm also just kind of documenting the city, letting you see what it's like. You can also notice everybody's wearing, um, not everybody, but N95s. The city's been giving out these masks that are N95 because they're supposed to have more protection. But you'll see some other masks as well. I think they just lifted it so you can see some surgical masks, like the blue. So those are surgical masks. They look brand new. Supposed to change the mask every day, so. So this is Tua de Fornao Mendes Pinto. This is the name of our street right there. And this will give you a little taste of Macau's marketplace and stuff like that. Sunday night. And this one actually goes into another street altogether. Also Market Street as well. Um, you can see more stuff up that way. Pude Tome Pires. And since our street was actually the other one, I'm gonna go back to it. So this is actually the corner of um, Strada de Coyo de Amaral. Yeah, it's hard to film recently because of all the um, restrictions and 
high tensions and such like that as well. Yeah. Some of those workers, some of those workers are um, taking their mask off. I think they're eating and such. Actually, this area there's a lot more foreigners. I mean, Indonesian, Indian. <laughs> So all the residents um, have been getting kind of getting money from the government to help them out because they're closing a lot of businesses and closing different stuff and restricted restrictions this and it's taking a heavy toll on the economy. It's completely uh, yeah. I was thinking about that, you know, like if the um, if things get worse, you know, it's like that's when um, people need to commit crimes to survive, right? So it's like. But anyways, I think being a little bit exaggerating a little bit, lots of stress, especially now that we got new new COVID cases, so we might could go back down to lockdown again because of the policies. Anyways, probably shouldn't even film at all. But this is a nice normal street. The last two I did in Macau. I'm gonna try to do one that's more normal. I just highlight all the positives. So we'll do our best to do that. Coming up. And that's our focus seat right there. Okay, Mikhail, two, zero, two, two. Filming the city street by street. Let's check it all out. Shikinya. Shikinya. Oh, my boy, love, 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 love,